When I was 10 years old, my mother came home and handed me a baby boy. He was my cousin. My aunt had gone to the city to find work, and my mom taught me how to hear his cries and know if he was hungry or scared. She taught me that there was love in doing this, in caring for each other. Now I'm like my aunt. I used to think she had the best of it, going to the city, seeing the world. I didn't know the face of my daughter would crumble each time I walked out the door. I didn't know about the worry. When Hurricane Sandy came, my daughter Tiffany was 12. She's texting me, asking me to come home. She was so scared. We were all scared, but I couldn't leave Gladys. She's 87. She doesn't move well. There was no electricity, no way to get medication without me. So I text her back, no, I'm sorry, I can't come home tonight. And she texts me back in capital letters, I hate you. I love my job. I'm very good at my job, but all I could think was the lights going out on my girl and her grandmother alone in the dark. So Gladys and I agreed. I dressed her up warm and took her home with me. I put Gladys in my daughter's bed and asked her to help me. And Tiffany was not happy about this, but I taught her how to sing to Gladys when the wind frightens her. And Gladys, she shows my daughter how warm to make her soup. And we got through it together. We have to take care of each other. My mother taught me this is how love works. 